Welcome back to AM Northwest. Our first guest wants to help us find great produce, even on vacation. Here to share his always helpful tips, we welcome back produce expert Josh Osberg. Good to see you again, Josh. You too. Good morning, Helen. Good morning. Tell me about the tomatoes. The tomatoes are it right now. <laughs> Excuse <I'll>, me. <laughs> so, you know, I'd say a lot, a lot of the year when, when people come to the store and ask me, you know, hey, what's the best tomato? Right. I say, wait until the ones that you're going to get in July. Oh, okay, because? And now, because the tomatoes uh, are, are coming on locally from all the great farms right oh, now. Oh, great. All the fantastic heirloom varieties that we're seeing over here. I mean, you can take a look. Some of these beautiful striped ones, like in front, you've got that uh, green and red modeled Berkeley tie-dye. Uh, there's a one called Sunflare, which is the yellow and red and orange ones striped next to it. There's one called Purple Cherokee. There's Carbon. There's all kinds of wonderful, sort of like new varieties of heirloom tomatoes, which yeah. is... It's a bit of a misnomer because it's not like an heirloom tomato is more of an old world seed tomato that came over from Europe. Okay. Um, but a lot of these were sort of created, not in a lab, but in the fields through some hybridization. Um, and they're really wonderful colors and different flavors, some very rich with nice acid tones. So when you're on vacation, what, what do you suggest people do when it comes to looking for produce? Like, how would you know the, it's the right farmer's market, or is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, w wherever you happen to go, whether it's across the country or the next right. town over, um, it's a good idea to check out what your farmer's market looks like, especially if you're planning on doing any kind of picnicking or cooking oh, while you're sure. there. I mean, and it's really easy to, you know, just grab whatever is in season at the moment, which are the tomatoes, and as we'll talk here in a minute about peaches as well as basil, um, you can make yourself a really nice salad with all of those ingredients with a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon and olive oil and a little oh, bit of yeah, salt. Yeah. You just cut, cut all those up and it's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, and so really what you're looking for, four different things. You're looking for uh, freshness, mm -hmm. fragrance, <coughs> color, and then friends. So freshness, let's, let's talk tomatoes in particular okay. right now. So you want to pick up a tomato. Go ahead and yep. find, find one that, that you that. like there. So you feel how it's nice and heavy. Yes. You know, the skin is pretty taut, but it's going to be, with, with that weight, <laughs> There's a lot of good juice in it, so everything that you slice is going to be, have that really nice freshness. And especially like if you look at the top um, on the tomatoes, you want them to be have that really nice green. So if it right. feels like a fresh flower as opposed to this dried. Oh sure, yep. Yep, it's gonna that's gonna be your freshest tomato. Okay. In fact, if you go to the supermarket, most of the tomatoes don't even have a top because oh. they've been like brought up here from Mexico. Oh, right. Okay. And, you know, it's a real treat, too, when we get the little cherry tomatoes, like oh, these sun golds. Yes. Have you tried a sun gold this I season I love yet? sun golds. Yeah, these, these are our favorite. Yeah. Um, these also make, you know, great salads, of course. Yes. Th this is just like a little sugar bomb here. Yes. Um, and I know if I, if I pop it in my mouth right now, it's going to squirt all over. <laughs> all over everywhere. This, I love these tomatoes. And you can see the, the tops on the... the um, the sun golds here are nice and verdant as well. Um, and when you get tomatoes at the supermarket, they're usually in a little plastic box. So right. you can't really tell how fresh they are. Yeah, you, these look wonderful. Okay. So, and then fragrance. Yes. So you should be, I'm, I know it's going to be hard to smell any anything else because I've got this thing the of basil, basil here right in front of you. <laughs> so good. Oh my God. Well, and we're going to skip to friends. So okay. generally when you're at a farmer's market, um, when you see a farm that's got... A, a, a big display of lots of different things, mm -hmm. especially when it's, um, you know, they've got herbs and tomatoes and a bunch of other vegetables. You can tell that the produce is going to be good if everything else around it is good. Oh, good point. And okay. you can and you can make things with all the the different things that you have there. So even if it's like kale or lettuces, you can put some of those things together to create something. Yeah that you might want to eat at the farmer's market. But yeah, so certainly basil this time oh of year. If you goodness. see a farm that's got this really fresh, lively basil, mm -hmm. um, it you, you should be able to find tomatoes and some other great stuff that's right next to it. Okay, now I got to pop one in. Yeah. <laughs> so good. I just cut it in half there. That's so good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, Cucumbers? Cu yeah, the, uh, the, the, sorry, the one thing I want to also oh, sure. say. So color is also very important okay. too. So we, we referenced color a little bit. Um, and, you know, you can see that 
these tomatoes all have beautiful vibrant color. Uh -huh. If the color is pale, it's probably not ripe. You probably don't want it. If the yeah. if the the basil is browning, you pro it's probably been a few days old. This was harvested fresh and brought to us at the store yesterday, so okay. it is just incredible. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. And, okay. and yeah, so to tomatoes go really well with basil and as well with cucumbers as well. And we okay. have a lot of different cucumber varieties. Slicing, Persians, we've got this lime green one over wow, here. Wow. Um, okay. And one called uh, Unagi cucumbers. You want to look for nice, crisp, uh, fresh here. We're going to crack this one open. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, and okay. you can see how beautiful it is oh, on the man. inside. Yeah. Feel free to take Dang a slice it. of that. And oh, my God. Yeah, they, they, and they go well with, here, I'm going to borrow that knife yep. for a second because we're going to, we're going to, Cut, the, cut into this peach Look here. At those you want to, you, you want it to be nice and juicy when it's ripening. It it may not be ripe good. right at the farmer's market here, but again, you're looking for mm. color. You should be able to smell it. Oh my goodness! Fragrance, yeah. So fragrance um, and is, friends. Yeah. Um, a lot of the peach farms are going to also have nectarines ready to go. Okay. They'll probably still have some cherries and maybe some apricots as well. Let's get to the blueberries yes. and the. And the huckleberries. Huckleberries. Yes. I had some of the huckleberries earlier. That's why the... Wild, wild crafted huckleberries. If you can find these at the farmer's market, it's not easy because mm -hmm. they're wild harvested, but they are absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I know. I, I know you I'll had a couple there already. Right. We're going we're gonna to leave some of those here for you as well. And yeah. then blueberries in, oh, your, blueberries in your yard. If you don't have them in your yard, you can find them at the farmer's market. Oop, they're, they're falling out all over the place. But yeah, these are, these are an Oregon staple. Yeah. You, know, you should be enjoying blueberries. And, and all the goodness that we have here on the table. Josh, thank you so much. Appreciate Always a pleasure, that. Helen. Thanks. What is information on the website at K2.com? Thank you. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away. Yum, by the way. All right, way. I'm going to eat this pizza mm -hmm. now.